Hello guys, welcome back to Suremuji Me Fix to another little tutorial. This is a rather a very quick breakdown on a little project I'm working on. I'm gonna refine this heavily because this is something I really find interesting working in 3ds Max. But I want to see how I can incorporate it into the Cinema 4D with Film Fix. So this just to show a basic setup, uh, a breakdown how I did this. Uh, but I will refine it and upload a new tutorial where it's gonna be packed with effects and destruction and everything but right now it's just uh, to show you how to set up a meteor meteor rock coming into um, entering the atmosphere coming to earth but so here we are in after effect um, this is the original clip um, i motion tracked it in cinema 4d so this is just my kids playing on the playground and then he's supposed to look up in the sky and uh rock will meteor will come down so of course it's not night shift night time it's just uh, some color correction so there was the here he pointed up and uh, he needs to jump out as it's entering the atmosphere up here and that was if you look at the area here we have a little impact here right here so it comes in and then it just flies down and we have some camera shaping going on let's see it again yeah it's pointing up and let's see here it comes there it is and that ends so it, it ends here but uh, I want to continue with actually making the the full explosion so the clip is actually longer here you can see it's daytime and uh, I'm gonna um, do a big impact a big explosion here when it comes down so I'm just gonna blow up all everything here um, maybe even uh, take another shot um, but uh, yeah so it starts in uh, after effect just as we did in the previous movie uh, you'll uh, go in After Effect, bring in your original clip, export it as a JPEG sequence or PNG, and then you would uh, Cinema 4D. And here you will uh, open up your motion track layout. And from the motion track layout, you would just add in your clip by clicking in here. And then um, track your footage with just clicking on the full solve. It's going to make a full solve. And then you have this, all these track points here. So now you have track your footage, and now we can go out of motion prep, go back to film effects. So we don't want to see all these auto features, so we can just hide those. So here we have the original clip, and if I unhide film effects, you can see I have my grid here, and uh, for my geometry, I just have this lava rock, uh, which is a free, a uh, free model from. Turbo Squid, so it will come in. Let's see here, around frame 400. That's where it, it's coming in up here. And um, what I did was actually, if we just unhide uh, film fix, let's see here, but we unhide the rock itself. What it is, it was. I take my rock at the final position and then um, I scale it up to the size I want and then from here I go backwards and I because you have a keyframe at uh, 400 and I just have this line going up and I scaled it a little bit down upwards as well so here you can see the animation from top so from frame 400 till 517 is gonna go in a linear uh, direction down towards the playground and if we enable the film effects again you can see the grid is covering everything and that's the most important thing cover everything from top from front and from the side and also as you see I've added in uh, some rotation so we come back here uh, disable the film effects and look at the rock itself Let's just play it from here. 
You will see it's rotating as it's entering and coming closer. It's getting a little bit bigger as well. So that's just for the animation. So then for the few and fix, you'll of course add in an object source and just bring in your lava rock in here. And in here, basically the only thing I changed here, uh, it's by default on solid, so just keep it there. But uh, the only thing I changed was the smoke amount till 1.5. So that's an easy one. So for the film fix itself. So let's see here. Um, I ended up with a low res version, so four centimeters spacing that produces a simulation of 14.3 gigs uh, you should lower this down for getting a really high res uh, animation and go to the simulation you will bump up the quality to 10 max iteration i put that to 300 and the simulation simulation steps i put this uh, at six both at minimum and maximum advection stride 0.6 and uh, let's go down here, vortices scale 0 0.02, um, turbulence, I put that at 6, and the turbulence is what we are seeing, will give a uh, turbulence in the smoke here, and the scale 10, detail level, I bump that up to 5, frames 20, and I only have block inside on minus uh, Y, but uh, actually you don't need that because it's never gonna hit the ground um, so for the fuel burn rate 65 and this is the burn rate. the higher the number you have here it can go from 0 to 100 and it's a percentage the higher you go the lower the the burning the flame will be so this ignition part here so if you have a really low number then it will be a long flame going backwards here the burn duration 1, heat production 12, and expansion 1.7. I have a very subtle smoke density at 1. And then uh, smoke buoyancy 20. Again, you can really notice it's very subtle. Um, and then disposition strength. I didn't want my smoke to disappear on that long trail. So that meant I just reduced it to 0 basically. So for the rendering, fire. Intensity, I lower that to 0.4, opacity 0.4, then you just make a gradient color what you want. So for the fire, I just made from yellow to red to black and more black. There's just a solid black and there's a completely black. For the smoke, uh, again, opacity 0.6 and my color here, a little white grayish color. Illumination. I have brought in uh, three lights, set the step size to 200, did range to 20, and enabled the multiple scattering, and uh, bumped up the maximum depth to 7, and fall off to 8. So that for the amazing object source, uh, ensure that you have the object source in here, and basically uh, that's it. The reason why I have this uh, compositing tag on here is because I made an object buffer, um, for the fuma fix, that means so inside after effect I can go in and just only work on this part itself so if I solo this then I can go in and do whatever I want color correct it to my liking so that's just a little tip that will be good if you want to isolate your things like that so that's for the object buffer so the film effects the lights the motion tracking itself um, a background again that's generated for the motion tracker so here create background object so once again guys just a very short breakdown on how I made this but a lot of good a uh, lot of possibilities uh, with this one um, just want to show you as well um, also another little use case here here I have this scene uh, with earth and again I have my my rock here and there's just another rock free model again and um, what could be an interesting uh, something I also would like to work on here is that uh, you can put your box 
you grid out here and make your animation with this stone coming slowly uh, rotating and entering the earth's atmosphere and as soon as it hits within the boundaries of this grid it's gonna start the, start the burning progress so let's take a look at that we just play the animation here so we just do a, a sim right now so put some rotation in there and uh, you can also do a close-up afterwards so there's really good possibilities here to make a really good earth deep impact ish uh, little short movie so now as it enters now we see the burning start here and again this is a really uh, low risk um, as well it's only 2 gig so of course you wanna play with the settings here and we can just stop it here and again I have some a couple of lights in there object shows just as before put in the granite rock in there let's do a quick uh, preview and that's what we have it's coming in and because the whole thing is 3D now for this close up you would of course need uh, a much more high risk solution but imagine here from this angle here and you will have a camera shake and some blurriness here and uh, a lot of particles debris just around this rock while it's entering uh, the earth so I see a lot of a uh, lot of possibilities and and this uh, which uh, definitely I will be uh, working on. So that's it for this short uh, breakdown, guys. Thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned. Don't remember to sub subscribe if you haven't already and please give me a thumbs up or comment. See you again, guys. Bye.